We're back for round three of our workouts. I've been loving seeing you guys getting sweaty with us. And most importantly to keep in mind is our energy is all over the place right now. Yesterday I was kind of down, didn't want to work out, still made myself do it and it, it helped improve my mood. It wasn't an amazing performance by any means, but who cares? This isn't about training for the Olympics. Those are canceled. It's not about trying to wear a smaller size. Nobody's wearing clothes that are real clothes now anyway. So it's really just about showing up what we can do each day to just feel better. And a lot of times when we don't wanna do it, when we follow through and actually do it, we feel better. So that's what this can be for you today. Just do your best and that is good enough. So you guys know the drill now. We're gonna do nine different exercises for 45 seconds each, three rounds of that. And here we go. First up is we're going to jump rope or you can do jacks or here's your modification just to get your heart rate going. So let's go, 45 seconds. Whew. Focus on your breathing right now. It always takes a few minutes to get the blood circulating to the muscles. I wore my short shorts for you, you're welcome. <laughs> Feeling good. And as you're working out today, just really focus on letting things go your annoyances, your fear, the stress. You're gonna breathe it out and sweat it out. 15 more seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Great, so now we're gonna go into single leg hamstring. So I use my kettlebell. You don't have to. You can use a free weight and hold it straight. So what we're going to do, hold the weight in front of you, fall your weight on one leg, and slowly touch it down to the ground and back up. Let's show you from the side. Slowly touch it down and back up. Here we go. We'll switch legs at 22 seconds. They're great for balance. And getting that booty working. Good job. Switch leg. Balance sucks on that side. instructors go way too fast and I totally agree with that it's like they did crack before they started their workout it's always like a really tiny bubbly blonde girl god love them but like I just can't move that fast and we don't have to we're doing just as much work at our own pace eight seconds 
five, four, three, two, one. We're going into squats. So you can use your, if you have a kettlebell, it's great. If not, you can just use your free weight or body weight. So hold your free weight like this. And we're gonna drop it down. If your back starts to curl under, that happened to me because I'm not flexible. Stop at that point. Don't keep going if your back is curling. Stick the butt out like you're sitting on a chair and you stop there. Keep breathing. These are big muscle groups. They need oxygen and blood to punch you. And they will get you out. Way. Going to tricep extension. So, above your head, elbows in by your ears, extend up. Let's go. A lot of times we want to keep our elbows out, keep them in by your ears. All right, it's burning. Keep it up. Whew. You need to go down in weight, that's totally okay. Just don't quit. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Burning. It's a good time. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now. It's my most hated exercise. Figured it was a great reason to do it. Burpees. So if you guys don't know what those are, your life has been much better than ours. If you do, go ahead and get started. If you don't, here it goes. You can crawl out to a push-up position. You can go on your knees. You're gonna jump back. And you can jump up, okay? So jump out or crawl, jump up. Okay, here we go. Usually things that suck the most are the best for us, so. So, in this position, 
where you have support on your knees, you're gonna bend over. And you're doing the lawnmower. Pull it back. Okay? Here we go. We're gonna switch at 22. Think you're starting your lawnmower. Leave that muscle. like that. Let's take a break, grab a water, and we'll get back at it. So let's talk about productivity. I've been seeing a lot online saying you don't have to feel bad for not being productive. You don't have to learn something new in this quarantine. And today I just asked you what the hardest part about this quarantine has been. And reading all of your comments has just been helpful in understanding what everybody's going to, through because all of our experiences are so different. So I really think the idea of being productive, one, is a good thing. What we consider productivity is a different conversation. I think if you're getting up every day, you have things that you have to get done, whether it's you're still working from home, caring for kids, caring for yourself, all that's being productive and that shouldn't be discounted. That's a great job, that's hard work, and you're getting up every day and you're doing that, which is awesome. And if you don't have some of those responsibilities, having purpose for your day is extremely helpful. So make a list of things that you'd like to learn or you'd like to do. We started learning Spanish in our house. We started doing tons of creative projects. I clean every day and I feel satisfaction from doing that. I cook every day and I feel good doing that. So productivity is all about what you do for the day. There's no one judging you or having a checklist monitoring that. So be kind to yourself and know that every day, give yourself purpose and feel proud of what you accomplished. Round two, jump ropes. If you wanna get fancy with those feet, you do it. I'm here for it. I can't jump rope for shit, so. My pretend jump rope is like so on point. My real jump rope, it's pretty embarrassing. Let's we'll leave it at that. Twenty seconds. I'm gonna blow through this around like it's nothing. Ten seconds. Great job, guys. Proud of you for showing up today. Three, two. One, go to the single leg hamstrings. I'm gonna start with my weak leg this time. Let's go. Oh, I feel it. Really focus on that balance, I'm using those muscles to control you. Switch legs. Again, these don't seem like much, but you will feel them tomorrow. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Reverse squat. Grab your baby weights. in the chicken wings, that was this. This is our back. Good job. Halfway there. Use the top. Need a break, stand up, take it out. Awesome job, guys. Three, two, 
one. Going into knee to elbows. Let's just keep it moving. That's all this is about. This is moving. We don't need to overthink it. If you're not feeling one of my workouts, just turn on a really great playlist. Dance around your room. Whatever you gotta do. If you're breaking a sweat, you're good. I usually do one of these workouts and a spin class or lifting with Brad. So you can use this as your workout for the day or you can add to it with some walks or yoga. So much you guys can do. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into squats. Squeeze through the top. Squeeze. Halfway there. Great job. Feel and engage those muscles. You're sitting back on a chair. That's the motion. Great job. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going into tricep extensions. Take myself out again. And throw this over. Elbows in. Let's go. I have to put my mind somewhere else for these because they burn. Focus on your breathing. Keeping those elbows in. If you need a break, grab it down, shake it out, back up. Don't quit. Halfway there. Oh. Nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, those are so hard. <sighs> you get me every time. Anytime I do things over my head, it really gets me. All right, burpee time. Here we go. Clear your path. All right, let's walk it out. Up. We're making these burpees our bitch. Over halfway there. Killing it. leg lunges. Oh, it's a heart rate pumping. Okay, here we go. Take a leg, any leg, and pulse. Drop a little lower if you can, and pulse. Do our rows. Okay. Remember, like you're going to start your long arm. You're 
can rest your arm on your knee. Here we go. You guys got this. This is our last exercise for round two. It went by so fast, as usual. We are almost done. Let's switch sides. Great job. We got 10 seconds left in this round. Five, four, three, two, one. I am dripping sweat. It's on the mat and it feels really good. So let's take a break, bring the heart rate down, and we'll get back at it. I want to talk to you guys about food. I know right now, again, we talked about our emotions and our moods, which is obviously going to affect our relationship with food. So if we are aware of all of that and we're owning our shit, like we talked about, we can make conscious choices about food. That means if you really want some Oreos and you're saying, oh, I shouldn't have that or I can't have that. Well, if you really want them and you're consciously choosing to eat them, enjoy the shit out of those Oreos. That's it. It's just owning our decisions and saying, all right, yeah, I totally feel good about that choice. It's exactly what I wanted in this moment. I don't feel bad about it. That's owning your shit. Now, when you go wake up tomorrow, you probably aren't gonna want Oreos. So it's all about just managing what you can, not making excuses, being very conscious about our choices, and not beating yourself up, but making the best choice for you in that moment. And reflecting upon that with how you feel is always the best way to approach diet in general. So healthy foods, veggies, fresh foods, lots of water, and lots of fiber are great places to start. And we're back, we're almost done, this is crazy. We're killing it, we're like in such good shape. I don't even know, I'm just so impressed by us, you guys. <laughs> Let's get started, here we go, jump rope. We have a pretty cool fitness family happening online though, I have to say. It's pretty fun to watch and to be a part of. And it is very different than the other fitness stuff out there. And that's what we talk about. When we change our mindset and our approach to things, we feel different doing it. And it means something different to us. And that's how we stick with it. Because we actually like it. Game changer, isn't it? Keep it up. 14 seconds. Whew. Feeling good. I mean, I am burping up my breakfast a little bit, but I'm still feeling good. Comes with the territory. Three, two, one. Single leg hamstring. Let's go, right into it. Down, up. Oh, I feel these. Good job. Good leg. Good job. Five, four, three, 
two, one. <sighs> Put the legs down, knee to elbows. Let's get into it. Great job. We're flying through this. And then we can just get on with our day. Halfway there. While you're working out, let's think about what we can be grateful for when we have no control right now. We do have a lot, each one of us, that we can be grateful for. Two, one. All right, we've got our squats. Being grateful for having a body that can even move is awesome. So it's not about you have to work out, it's you get to work out. A totally different perspective and a mindset shift. I have a, one of our models, Jess Quinn, is such a great reminder. She had cancer when she was little and had to take off part of her leg. And she just can't do a lot of the stuff we take for granted. And she is the most positive, ass kicking woman and make zero excuses for herself. And it just shows we can live like that too. All right, last one. Let's see. Tricep extension. I'm going down a little bit and wait because I'm sore. Here we go. Elbows in. Great job. Only three exercises after this and we are done. Keep pushing. Elbows in. Can we take a break? Let them down, shake them out. Back up. Keep it rolling. You got this. 10 seconds. We can do anything for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Up next, our favorite. You know what to do, it's our burpees. Let's get started. shittiest one's done. That's good, feels good. Let's move into our single leg pulses. All right, listen, one more and we are finished. Oh, let's catch our breath and get into it. Here we go, let's pulse it out. Drop it low. Focus on that breathing right now. Get your breath. back down a little. Switch leg. And breathe. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Last thing, guys. 
our upward row, so our lawnmower. It's our last one. So let's get in position. Make it happen. You are strong. You killed this workout. So whatever it is you're going through, you're starting to get to that too. You made it through every single one of your worst days so far. So don't cut yourself short. You're gonna be alright. And everybody's helping each other. And that's what we want to see change from all of this is that we show up for each other. Three, two, one. Yay! That is it. We got our sweat on. We talked it out a little bit. We feel good. So now you can take this energy into your day. Just put on some meditation music for five minutes and just let it all go. You guys did such a great job. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.